Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. In this week's episode, we're going to look at Reflectix as a suitable material for window coverings on your Jeep when you're warm weather camping or cold weather camping. We're going to talk a little bit about why we want to have window coverings. I'll discuss what some of the properties are of Reflectix that make it a suitable material. Then I'm going to show you how you can install it on your vehicle. All that, plus some extra tips in our tip segment, so stick around. Okay, first let's talk about why I want to put window coverings on my Jeep. Well, the first reason would be to provide some privacy. My wife and I go camping in the winter and the summer, and on the channel, there's a playlist of camping videos, which also includes how we pack for camping. And you'll probably have noticed we didn't have window coverings in that list. But from our trips, we realized at night, if we had the lights on and we want to read and we're at a provincial park, that sometimes we'd prefer a little bit of privacy. So that's the number one reason. Another reason, for example, is when you're camping in the summertime, if it's hot, by putting a window covering in the window, it'll have the sun get blocked or reflected from shining on the dash and heating up the interior of the Jeep, making it uncomfortable to sleep in at night. And finally, during winter camping, when I had some venting in the windows open or even just from the windows being just glass, cold would permeate through the glass and make it a little bit uncomfortable. So part of the plan by having a window covering is to provide some barrier between the cold windows and the interior. Good job, I'll take it over. He'll take it over from here. So now that we know why we wanna have window coverings, the material of choice is Reflectix. And we could have used material and we would have had to have come up with a way to secure it. And from what I've seen online about how people use Reflectix, it seemed like the easiest way to go. Plus, it has some properties to it that make it beneficial. For one, you can see there's foil on both sides of the product. So that'll give you some reflective properties. For example, when we put it in the windshield, the sun's light will reflect off of the material and it won't get into the Jeep heating it up. And then it also serves as a radiant barrier. So for example, in the winter time, when I have this up against the windows, the radiant heat that's in the Jeep will reflect back off of the product. So those are the properties of this material, along with the fact that when it is on the windshield, I'm hoping that it'll also reduce the amount of condensation that occurs on the glass because of this barrier. Okay, so how do you install this in your Jeep? Well, if you have a JL or a JT, you could go off of these measurements that I have up on the screen right now. What I've done is I've gone and measured the width of each of the windows and added a quarter inch, and then the height of each of the windows and added a quarter inch. And the reason why I did this is when you go to a four foot by 10 foot sheet, you can use the measurements that I am providing for you and that'll give you the rough measurements of what will fit here and if there's any curves or bends you can then as you're test fitting those sheets just trim them so that they fit perfectly. So as you can see here I've got the 4 foot by 10 foot sheet of Reflectix rolled out in the kitchen and using the measurements from this diagram I started to cut out the pieces. So the first piece would be the tailgate glass so I'll just cut that out and then I'll work at cutting out the rear windows, the hard top windows, the driver's windows, and then finally the front windshield. And once I have all the pieces cut out, those are the rough cuts that should get you pretty close to perfect when you install them to the Jeep. And wherever you have some curves, you could just, when you're dry fitting them, cut those little curves that you have so that they fit perfectly. So here I am with the rear door piece cut out. Let's have a look and see how it fits. So for the rear door, using the piece that I've measured out and cut out, it fits perfectly in place just like this. Let's move on and do some of the other pieces. And now for the hard top glass. 
This actually has a bit of a slant to it and we cut our piece an exact rectangle. So what you want to do now is fit the piece up against the glass and then using some kind of sharp edge, I have a scissors, I'm going to score the shape of this slant in the window and then cut it so that it fits perfectly. Tuck this corner in here, and that corner in there. Now I just scored the shape into the foil. I think you can see it right here. You might want to use a Sharpie to make the mark, but I'm okay with this. And now I'm going to just cut just outside that line so that I have a little extra material to give me some resistance against the edge. So it's almost a perfect rectangle. It's just for this hardtop window, the right side has the curves and the edge that I just cut into it. And now let's see how it fits. So you gotta make sure you have at least a quarter inch of extra material around the edge to hold it into place. Okay, so now we're gonna do the hard top window and the rear door window on the driver's side. So once again, I've scored into the Reflectix, the line that I wanna cut out. You could use a Sharpie. I'm okay with doing it this way. And make sure you just cut outside that line so you have a little extra material to give you the resistance to hold the sheet of Reflectix in place. I guess the other way to do it is you could just trace from the one that you just cut because the two sides are exactly the same. All right, now the rear passenger window. So now we'll move on to the front door windows. Okay, so now we're on the front passenger window and we're just going to put the Reflectix in the window and score the part of the curve right here and trim it so we can fit it in. Just going to cut just on the outside of the line so I have that little bit of extra to offer the resistance when I wedge it into that area. All right, let's head over now to the driver's side. Okay, now we'll do the same on the driver's side window and we'll just wedge the Reflectix in and score the edge right here of the curve. And we'll just cut along the outside edge of that so we have a little extra material for resistance. There you go. Now let's move on to the tailgate. Okay, and now for the tailgate piece, it's a bit of a larger piece to work with rather than those side window pieces. But there's a couple of things we also need to take into consideration. We've got the windshield wiper motor right here. So we'll have to make a little hole for that. We've got the washer sprayer hose right here. So we'll just cut a, a little notch in the top of the Reflectix. So it can just slide right over that. And then you have to be careful around these defrost cables here. So we'll just also cut a little notch so that the reflectix can just slide up there. Then we've got the struts right here for the rear window where there's a bracket attaching to the window here. And then there's a bracket attaching to the hard top right here. So to deal with that, I just cut a notch right here. Just cut a notch on this side, as well as on this side, that I'll slip this piece over the bracket, and this will go behind the strut, and it'll help to hold this big piece in. So let's fit it in now. Um, I've already trimmed the edges, and I'll put the dimensions of this exact piece on the screen for you to see. And now let's see how this can fit in. This piece slides underneath the strut and 
being careful of all the hoses and the wires here. And this piece goes around the wiper motor. And there we go. Now we've got the reflectix on the tailgate glass. And now all we have left to do now is the windshield. So let's get going. Okay, I'm hoping that I've got the light settings on the camera set so that you can see what I'm doing. What I've done is I've taken the large piece for the front windshield and I put the bottom piece down into the dash right to the bottom of the window. And then I've got this edge flush here and that side has a little bit of excess there that I'm going to trim. And then you have all this extra excess up at the top and the rest of it's just now flush to the window. So what I'm going to do is just shove with my fingernails right to the top of this windshield and make a crease. And my intention is with that mark to cut the reflectix and I'll cut the reflectix where I score this line. And of course I'll, I'll cut the reflectix just on the outside edge of this line that I'm scoring with the edge of my scissors here. Okay, so now I've scored this line. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so I can kind of see the edge that I scored with my finger and the edge of this scissors. So I'm going to cut just a little bit on the outside of that so I've got some pressure and resistance to hold this in. It's okay if I have a little extra. I just don't want to cut it too short because then I'll have some gaps. Okay, let's see how this now fits in. Shove it in there and then go behind the mirror. If you have adaptive cruise control, you'll have to cut a notch for that behind the mirror. There you go, it's all done. And if you wanted to mess with it a little bit more just to get it perfect, you can. But it's kind of nice that you just shove it in there and the resistance of the reflectix holds it in place. So now we're all done and you might be wondering, well, what are you gonna do with these when you're not using them? Well, these things roll up or fold up. They're very durable and they hold up very well. And they could just be shoved above the roll bar and be tucked out of the way there. But let me show you a couple of things that I have that you may have seen in some prior episodes. Okay, so here's the tailgate piece, just folded in half. This is the rear window. This is the front window. And then the hard top windows. And then this is the windshield folded in half. So now this is all the window coverings I have right here in this nice little package. And I could easily just shove this above the roll bar. But you might remember in this gift idea video, this mesh that straps to the roll bar and it could be just above here, the rear seats, where I could store the reflectix up in here along with some other items. But also, if you saw the storage attic shelf video, I could store the reflectix up here and there's still lots of room for other things but i do have some more tips for you in this week's tip segment now for some cheaper jeeper tips in the summertime i use this louvered vent on both sides of the passenger windows to provide excellent ventilation when sleeping in the jeep and there's a mesh there to keep the bugs out but if I'm utilizing the Reflectix, what do I do about this ventilation? Well, here's a tip. First thing, what you should do is take one of the Reflectix for the rear window and then cut a hole in it where you want the ventilation to occur. And that's fine because it would let the ventilation through. But then if it was in the winter time and you didn't want to do that, what do you do? Well, that's when you use some foil tape and secure it on the inside and then when you want to use the flap it'll just 
fold back. Let's have a look. So now in your rear window, when you want ventilation, you, the hole that you cut out is secured by one piece of tape down here and you put a piece of tape to use as a tab and you can do that on all the pieces of Reflectix to help you pull them out. But in this case, we open the flap and that allows for the ventilation. And when you don't want all that ventilation, just close it up. And another tip is to use the ends of zip ties and shove them into places where you want a little more secure connection. Now in the winter time, I won't have this window open at all and the Reflectix will be shut like this, but I still want to make sure I get ventilation in the Jeep. So here's another tip. Now when I'm camping in the winter time, I don't use those vents because it would be way too cold in the Jeep and it would let out any of the heat that we have. The thing is, with all of the cold that went through this glass, I could feel it when I was sleeping in the Jeep and it was uncomfortable. So that's where I hope the Reflectix will come in handy, but I still want to have ventilation. You can see here on my Jeep, I've got these window vent covers right here. That would allow me to open the front window about an inch and allow some ventilation. But if it's winter time, I'm gonna have the Reflectix there. So let's have a look at a solution. Just like I showed you with the back window in, in the, that application, it would be for the summer. I've got these little tabs here on these pieces that I've cut. With the foil tape at the bottom it allows me to open them and I could have now controlled ventilation in the Jeep in the winter time with the Reflectix on all the windows. Now if I was going to use this technique for the summer I'd want to use this adhesive backed screening and you can see I have it right there that I applied to the back side. And then of course, I could use my zip tie idea if I wanted to keep these things tucked in in place, but I'm pretty comfortable with the way they are and I'm pretty happy with this solution. So now that I have this Reflectix window covering solution for warm weather and cold weather camping, I'm looking forward to using these. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when those videos come out. Now, let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from our windshield defrost hack update video. Hey, Cheaper Jeeper TV, how secure are the plugs once installed? Dash rattles drive me nuts. Signed, The Lone Wolf. Hey, The Lone Wolf, interesting question. In fact, I've read in the forums that some people use electrical tape around the plug's threads to help them stay in more secure. And if you have any tips that you'd like to share, please feel free to put them in the comments section below as they may make it into a future episode. Thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, click here on this subscribe button and then the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. Until next week, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.